I'm so ready. What? Hello! My words are now immortalized in the annals of time. Just to say that way, you could have said it a different way. Anal. Anal of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bubba Number four. We did three. Can you believe it? Well, yeah, this is a half high point. It's fair to say that in this line of the continuity, we, we already didn't think it was good, but now everybody doesn't think it was good. Like, after episode three, everyone's like, oof. Oofenheim. I hope it wasn't just the bikes. It was just the bikes. <laughs> it was just the bikes. Unfortun mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it seems to be that just the bikes were able to flip people on this show being bad, even though the show was fucking garbage from the start. I saw people being pretty mad at the Black Chrysanthemum assassination. That's the Wookiee man. Oh yeah, we don't want to assassinate Black Chrysanthemum. That would be terrible if this established character that was deeply... Oh uh, yeah, we R definitely Rags, I think they that. mean his, his assassination attempt on Boba. Well, you can't tell. They actually mean both. Because he's a oh. <laughs> he's a famous character from like extended stuff, I think. Of course, he was oh, a Wookiee okay. who did badass stuff. He's apparently he he met Darth Vader. How cool is that? Darth yeah, Vader should have given him the little tidbit <laughs> when you try to kill someone, just bring a gun and shoot them. Uh, oh, dude, Darth Vader could have told him. Around. Yeah, that'd have been great. Because a lot of people don't know that. They always think like, I gotta throw people around. I watched Terminator Salvation. That's what they do in that. I watched Mandalorian no. season two. It's what the robot did to, to Mando. That's, that's how you do it. Do you remember when he punched his helmet and it went into the fucking hull of the ship? Yeah. He punched him so hard it went into the bulkhead of the starship. That's insane. It was such a like, okay, <laughs> I guess so. So he's, you're just indestructible. We've sort of known this, but it, this is even more confirmation oh, okay. that you're just Beskar, indestructible. Beskar, Beskar, yeah, it's Beskar, Mantle, guys. So. I'm happy for him to be indestructible, but my favorite part is that you could just take off his helmet if you wanted, but they just don't. You're happy for him to be indestructible. Punch him. Yeah, basically. Well, kind of. Mm. <laughs> I'm happier with that than I am with the fact that the robot sees that he's indestructible and doesn't just like go, yeah. okay, I guess I'll take this off you or I will attack you in any other part of your personage that doesn't have this Beskar shit all over it. It's frustrating how much people specifically seem to go out of their way to target his invulnerable parts. Yeah. Because like, most of his body is not covered. We've not had to deal with that anymore, you see? We had, he was like naked, basically. He only had panties on. Yeah. Wherever you so hit him, he's getting we, hurt, right? Now what we do is we don't shoot him. We oh. just throw around and use our little taser oh. knives. and To inconvenience him, yeah. And melee weapons, yeah. We have some memes. Content. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so he lived a, I guess, a significant part of his life was spent on Camino. He that wasn't just one place out of many that they lived. He didn't travel, which seems like that would be a like if your father was Django Fett, you would do a lot of traveling and seeing a lot of places. Wasn't the implication that he did travel a lot, but he lived on Camino? I don't imagine that Django would take his son on all of his missions, right? Like, I suppose that means that that's really where their house was, even after everything and before. I, I, all right, I, that's fine. I'm just, I guess that's where they live. That was the house. I, get, I guess I born. thought he'd be able to afford better. What's wrong with Camino, Rags? Don't you yeah. like it? Well, it's not a very large, it didn't seem like a very large place where they were at, you know? So you'd think that they'd have someplace nice and... I assume he needed to work there for... Uh, cloning process? Yeah, to be close to the clones. Sure. So the Kaminoans Kaminoans have... or whatever could... And then I would have assumed that after that was done, like, well, oh, wait, we got your DNA. Thanks. You can leave. Possibly, but I can see, like, lo there being lots of viable reasons that he needs to just stay there so that they can, like, check and stuff from him and stuff like that. Maybe he just likes water. Could yeah, maybe he just bunch. wanted all that sweet water. He does it's like water, I have heard that. Wet all the time. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, that's essentially what you just do. Oh, yeah. look, he's sleeping alone. I'll <laughs> just shoot him. The end. <laughs> the end. Even without a gun, when you are a Wookiee, it shouldn't be hard to kill a sleeping bo oh, like weaponless boba in a backpack. Yeah, a couple yeah, of comments were neck. like, you just rip his head off. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but no. Yeah. Just choke him. He's basically a sentient grizzly bear. Got this uh, cool, bit of, uh, cool bit of artwork here. And um, the green is Fringy and the blue is Jay. Relates to our last endeavor. It's too small, I can't read it. Let me Zoom Patient in. Malin Longman is having another episode hey, of Altered... I just said what? green is free. 
no 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 very wallaby can can i please actually read it another episode of altered perception any changes He's gone and made me a co-host. Really? Oh, well then, congrats, Don- Defringloid. <laughs> or should I say, Fringy? Uh, yeah, no. Anyway, we need another reinforced auxiliary guy before his next episode. Oh, you mean the rags? Yeah, I'm sure they will come soon. Enough yes. of the jokes, Dr. X. He don't play along with his delusions. There I am. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, if, if EFAP isn't real, does this mean the Isle of Man flag isn't real? No, oh, no that no, could be real. That real. could be real. No, not real, I made it up. Oh. Big I also made up well, I love that you've see. drawn your own tentacles on the wall. <laughs> yeah, a little spooder. I, I also love that it says, like, Apex on the wall, and any sane person would assume, oh, that must be, like, a reference to Apex Legends or something, but we all know that it's Apex Homosexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you see Spot as well? Scribbled him on yeah, the floor. Yeah, uh, bottom right. Oh, yeah. So what a great God. meme. I love it. This is, this is good rat. This Excellent good rat. rat. Which, that's, that's it for good rat for this recording. <laughs> now, hey, you don't know episode 4 won't be excellently crafted. That's true. Make baby Benthus. So this is an interesting observation. It's posted to the subreddit. It's just a bit of fun. Ah, yes, this. Yeah. One of these men is selling water in the desert, allegedly. Profiteering by overpricing. Preying on desperate people because he's greedy. The other is a poor, out-of-work man with his speeder bike who can't afford the high price of water. The main reason for this <laughs> post was just to highlight costume design sucks. It's like, yeah. Well, because it doesn't convey well that they're poor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy on the left looks like he works all day. He's got a worn out... Uh, his outfit's not dirty, but it's clearly worn. And the, the strap of whatever satchel he's carrying, that's clearly seen. A few tattooing sunrises. Yeah. Um, and also a delicious beverage. And then on the right, yeah, nice... Nice looking, polished, nice clean speeder and a nice outfit. Everything fits pretty guy. well. Cyborg guy. Yeah, cyborg parts. It's like, I am yeah, poor. And you're like, hmm. Are you now? Are you? I don't believe you. I was like, uh, you know what? We're going to get like some person in the chat or the comments being like, what? So poor people can't ever have nice clothes? Like, no, <laughs> no. That does it's... feel like one of those observations. It's like, do you actually think that that's what we think? <laughs> or, uh... In terms of people... communicating stuff to the audience, right? This is what we call a failure of doing that. This is a fun little screen. I like fun screens. Asked about the bikers. Morrison, meaning the actor that plays Boba Fett, Tamura Morrison, replied, some of these things are out of our control. We can't say as performers, <laughs> we don't want to work with these people, that's not good enough. They brought a lot of color to it, I thought. They were, they were great. We're working hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know what full justice, I, left, I think. I did that on purpose so that you can now highlight it, Jay. They brought a lot of color to it. I thought they were great. That's <laughs> how I read that. The dot 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 is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because you can tell he had to think about it. <laughs> what am I going to say about them? Uh, they're great. They're great. They're great. <laughs> How indicative it is that the first thing he says is some of these things are out of our control. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's not my fault, I swear. <laughs> I like the idea that he's referring to just like everyone working on Book of Boba Fett. Like the bike has just appeared and we're like, we're going to be in the show now. It's like then, um, the the original filming location of uh, Star Wars is controlled by ISIS now, isn't it? So maybe they're all ISIS members who forced their way into the show. For the first time ever on EFAT Mini Boba Fett, we're going to look at a video before we start. Oh my goodness. A Why famous not? video that's been getting around in relation to... Gone with the Wind? Fett. It's not quite Gone with the Wind. I can see how you could relate them, though. Citizen Kane. All of the quality of Star Wars is gone with the wind. Oh, yeah. The only context is this is an interview that took place. To the oh, yes. Characters. I think I saw that. Yeah. I intend to rule with respect. Ugh. Ugh. Hi, I'm Alex from NME, and today we're talking to Star Wars' scariest double act. It's bounty hunters Temerero Morrison and Ming Narwhal. Fuck off. I think he said Temerero Morrison. I think he did. Morrison. Temerero Morrison. Yeah. started out by saying, yes, my name is Tricky. It's okay. These kinds of interviews are always funny to me because you know that they know I've got to be as fucking positive as possible so that I can have another one of these in future. Yeah. Sometimes Maybe they are that excited, I don't know, but they always come across as super fake. Like, Well, I guess it's the whole shtick, right, is that they're ultimately marketing rather than an interview yeah. that is 
specifically trying to achieve some sort of goal in terms of revealing interesting new things. I find the, the actors are fine, usually. Uh, it's the interviewers I always find cringe. You can get some really great results sometimes. Like the most yes. like an amazing one at this point is probably going to be Mark Hamill's comments on TLJ. Uh, I don't think any are going to beat that. But how does Tamura Morrison talk about Boba Fett? Let's have a look. Well, I was hoping not to say as much as I have already in the first two episodes. I speak far too much. In fact, in the beginning, I was trying to get past me. Um, the way he keeps looking is like someone's got a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's nervous. <laughs> he's nervous. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It's like of if course. this were L.A. Noir, and you're like, hmm. I mean, no, res no, no disrespect no. For, to the great mouse. Please get me a season two. My line's on to Ming-Na. Yes, and I always say, excuse me, excuse me, director. Uh, I really feel that Ming-Na should say these lines because I want to stay mysterious. Right. I want to stay uh, quiet. But then I, I caught be... on. He wasn't, he wasn't just trying to be a very generous actor, which he is. He was just trying to parlay some of the work to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. responsibility. So, yeah, but the... I find that facial expression so fucking telling. So basically, I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Seems like she tried to rescue uh, the atmosphere a little bit there. Um, sort of. I can it, sort of see it. It's, it's heading in a particular direction, right? When you say, yeah. I wanted this, and the director said no. Like, so she was like, <laughs> oh, he wanted to palm off the work, even though he's a very <laughs> generous actor. It's like, ha, ha, ha. Then he, oh, look at his oh. face. And then he just sort of continues like, straight again. Like, no. Yeah. He looks so fucking awkward, and, and I think he says, uh, yeah. Uh, and then, like, trying to get... <laughs> So fucking like, oh my god, what's happening tomorrow? Work to me. <laughs> yeah, it's just your responsibility. So yeah, but the, and even when, uh, because <laughs> well, obviously John's uh, the you know one of the key writers. So uh, yeah. and so sometimes I'd always say, I, I I think this is too much. I think this is too much. Then I'd go to what was the other guy's name? Noah. Noah. I try and get. Oh Noah, like uh, yes, Noah Noah. Mm -hmm. I remember, of course, John actually Which went away to Atlanta, so I rang Noah that night and I said, Noah, the scene tomorrow, I'm talking too much. This Seems to have very different goals in this. That's... Yeah. Tamura <laughs> wants to preserve some semblance of what the character sort of was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And everyone else is like, fuck it, talk. It's what people I mean, want. Talk, talk. In this interview, in this interview, yeah. he's just going in there like, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to say my piece about how I felt. Fennec, is that a name? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, no, it's just her. here going like, God, I need to... Uh, if, wait, if he doesn't get a season two, then I won't get a season two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, love this job. It was amazing. This bubble really? doesn't talk this much. Um, look, I've got all this, these paragraphs here. I think we should get rid of it. And John's gone to Atlanta, so don't tell him. And then next <laughs> <time>. <laughs> Which is a great, funny little moment. But you're like, John's gone to Atlanta when they're filming. Yeah. Hmm. 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 He cranked that that uh, that script out in 17 minutes, and then he went to go work on his other thing. He needs to ruin. If, it really feels like Boba Fett's season is kind of just this thing. It's more so like just a stepping stone. It doesn't really represent much of anything. Nobody cares about it. You know, it sucks. Pretty yeah. odd, all things considered. But well, Morrison it seems to care about it. Oh, of course he does. Yeah, uh, he, I'm he sure she does too. A lot. I'm sure a lot of people do yeah. care about it, and that's kind of the sad part, isn't it? This smile of his is way better than the one in episode two where he was just like, <laughs> with that, that, that desert grasshopper or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> I actually forgot. I was like, Boba Fett's not in episode two. What? It oh! <laughs> but Boba he is in episode two. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, no, he is. Yeah, well, yeah, he's, yeah, he is. Shut up. <laughs> I had to start talking, I guess, otherwise... Uh... We had to fill in the gaps and give out a little bit of information. And right. Ming's such a wonderful person to to. Sh yeah, that's about it. It's just, All mm -hmm. right, well, it's just real interesting, ain't it? Yeah. It's amazing how much of these characters are characters and not playing characters. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about the character inconsistencies, but I mean, Boba is talking a fucking lot. Um, unusual. It's, it's kind of weird to say, right? It's like, well, anyone can talk as much as they want, right? It's like I think the point with Boba talking. In a limited amount is that he's he's you very focused. The, he's choosing his moments. Few words angle where it's it's basically he doesn't talk a lot, but when he does talk, you're always paying attention because yeah. it's always important. He never there's never superfluous words. I grew up surrounded by water. 
Yeah, that's a really fucking strange line. And, and if it was like a real easy way to also develop Fennec as well, we get more insight into her. She's she's like the right hand man who's always sort of leading the conversations. Yeah. Does and, she have and ulterior you, motives? Is well, she trying to exactly think about you know, what her agenda is and if it if it, uh, season two with well, how interesting it would have been if we had four. a few episodes where she was constantly the one relaying information, and then one time she says something, and then Boba contradicts her. That'd be really interesting. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, but again, uh, we're not um, going to get that, though. The thing is, we haven't met her in the flashbacks yet, and I'm assuming they'll do that, so maybe That's we'll unfair, finally yeah. get our fucking oh. information on Fennec. Like, what? how she well, really feels she, about all she's this. Got, uh, Can't wait. She has not got much at the moment, which is odd. It's basically nothing. She's basically the uh, deuteragonist of the show. Well, yeah, yeah, like, you know, like, oh, I love Fennec, and it's just like, she, just, all she does what is do shoot people, love? that's it. I'd like to like Fennec, but... There's nothing to like. About her. Yeah, we don't have anything for her character. There's just she nothing there. She has a there. robot stomach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, that's where I, she I, fits I, all I, that she, chicken that she eats with her gloves on. I, I genuinely get the impression that, like, at Disney, they all said, well, you know, he's the main character. He's got to talk a lot, right? You know, how would he How would he be um, the main character? How would we have a main character who doesn't say much? That's not going to work. How are you going to learn about him? As if, it's like, how many video as if Mando you didn't happen. Made. Well, like, you watch Wally. I don't know. Play some well, we just had games. The Mandalorian. Two, uh, two seasons of that, and he barely says anything. Yeah, and look at how great that turned out. <laughs> well, they think it turned out great. That's true, they did. How um, awesome would it be if the... In season one, episode five of the first, you know, of Mandalorian, you had that young wannabe bounty hunter and he was inexperienced and plucky and maybe, maybe he was like the kid from Unforgiven, something like that, you know, mm. and you want to pair Boba Fett with someone who has maybe a lot to learn. Boba respects him for something or he sees some aspect of the angle that I would take with this show is Boba is coming to understand that he is getting old and he needs to start establishing for himself if he wants to stay in the spotlight so to speak and keep in this line of work and if he doesn't want to retire he needs to establish people who will that he can trust that he trains that he that are his protégés essentially that yeah. are his students and that he can teach and tell about the world and that's not only a very useful delivery device for us as an audience but it allows us to have these flawed and somewhat incompetent characters who have a lot of room to grow and improve over the season whereas in this show everyone's kind of an idiot always but they're also simultaneously inexplicably competent like where does finnick have to go from here because she seems to be like many characters, she just the best. Yeah, yeah, she's she's just the best. We, she doesn't have anything to learn. Apparently, she's at the top of her game. She has a reputation as a, a deadly assassin sniper, which you would never be able to tell from this. So mm -hmm. it, we have a lot of a lot of yep. places that we just can't go. You're right, because it's TV show time. You've got the time of a TV show, not a film, which means that you ought to be developing more than just Boba Fett. You really should be doing more. And if Fennec is the other main character, which she basically is, I don't know that anybody else is a main character except for Boba and her. Nothing else seems to be being developed. I'm like, what is the time being spent on developing? Because like, we're not really getting much on the world. We've got a lot like of we, flashbacks. It's yeah, so a lot of flashbacks. Of weird, it's like it's. I it's guess the, the Tuscans are the most developed thing, other dead. than Boba. <laughs> It is the well, yeah. Now they're all dead. It is the strangely common thing that Mando had a problem with too, where you have more time than you had in the films, but you achieve less. Yep. Where like the plot of each episode, if you really think about it, is basically very minimal. Character development is essentially non-existent. We don't really have theme working much at all, and we don't learn a whole lot about the world. It's bizarre. It's honestly bizarre how little there is in these shows. Like, you could achieve the same sort of uh, thing by just having, I think, you know, I've seen a, Ma a Mandalorian parody where um, he's like, We're out of milk. Guess we better get some of this new planet. I guess that'll be our, our, our task for today. And then he goes and buys some milk. And then the person behind his milk is like, well, I need you to do a job for me before I sell you this milk. We'll give you some milk if you kill the warlord monster bandit that's been using our wi-fi if there isn't any milk at the store where does he go from there and is there a, a milk shortage what if someone what if there's one carton left and he puts his hand on it just at the same moment as someone else puts their hand on it how does he resolve these conflicts so wait, he, like, jingle he all the way with milk wow 
That didn't exactly go as well as I'd hoped. Yeah, he made, he made, yeah. Maybe he made a friend on Tatooine who runs one of the shops, and he goes there one day, and it's like, it's good to see you. And and then the the shopkeeper says the problems he has, Dude, and yeah. Boba does the job for him for free. And it's like, wait, why would he do it for free? Oh, it, you bounty hunter for free. The um, you must have a relationship. The Smiths from God of War. Rock. Rock. What? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Feels like you've got the easy potential of just having a character like that, where once he's back and everything's back to normal in Tatooine, he goes to this, like, fucking weapons dealer, and the guy's like, Boba, it's been yep. so long, and he's just, and they have, like, a friendship, and we can just be like, whoa, because, like, those two yeah. are really good Tims, when Boba's such a fucking ruthless piece of shit, and it's like, yeah, this is a, do you guys, um, I think Fring will be the only one that knows this reference, but House of Cards? Chicken shit move. Frank. I was vetted. Was that a ruse? No. Let's be absolutely clear, you wouldn't have won without me. You're right. But now we have to leave. Frank's got the guy who makes yeah, the, Frank's, the food. Yeah, uh, the guy who makes the wings. Morning, Freddy. Morning, Frank. How's tricks? I can't kick. You wanna go on in? No, why don't you set me up outside? Yeah, um, he's like the only person that Frank treats in a particular way. And it gives you options to get him upgrades and cool gear. And maybe that guy mm -hmm. can be used as leverage against him, you know, later in the season. And it's gonna be like something that actually matters to Boba and he has to really, he has to, sh you know, Make a decision between showing that that guy means a lot to him or not. You know, the easy payoffs. Never mind. Just feels like we got a dearth of concepts that we we developed for this show. We got told we're making a Boba Fett show, but we weren't quite sure of the story that we, what wanted, we wanted to tell. To do, yeah. Because there are stories to tell. It seems like the only idea that was had is what if Boba became a crime boss? And it's like, <laughs> all right, that's the start. That's the beginning of an idea. So, yeah. Not, so let's start off with the obvious done question, that idea. why? Well, like, not, they so haven't really done they've that. Not, so, they've not right. done what if Boba was a, a crime boss. They've done what if Boba. What if Boba like, hangs what around? What if he was around? Yeah. 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 What if Boba yeah, Fett was just kind of around, you know? And this applies to any kinds of writers, right? But if the five of us were a little, little writer's room and they were like, he's a crime boss, that's all we got as a premise, go make a season, we'd be like, holy shit, the amount of work all we right. got to do. There's yeah, so where was he? Where was he last? Are what we going to explain the gap? Who were his well, the first thing we're going to need to do, why first thing we would need to do is put in loads of flashbacks about how he got his stick. No. He no. And raid us. That's the that's what they want. They want the stick. What you were saying about the the kid from Unforgiven, right? I was thinking like it, it sounds a little floopy, but you know, if if there was another bounty hunter on that barge who was like a young kid and saw what happened to him and so worked to get him out of there, but then that's why Boba feels like some kind of connection to him or something and i think i read a star wars book and it was many many years ago it was one of those legends eu whatever it's fucking called things because he set off a thermal detonator i think inside of it and then like the sarlacc like puked him out barfed him all out and someone came and recognized him and like took care of him and so even that is better than just what we got it establishes oh there's this person who's legitimately willing to help me maybe yeah. they want something i can help them in return but they're gonna have to while i heal and get better they're gonna have to do some things for me and i'm gonna have to tell them how to do those things like all right listen we've got to go to anchorhead to get off world and we got to do this and do that and make sure you do this and that and press that button to make sure that the cloaking da, 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 da. and we learn all about how much he knows we establish his competence very quickly. Yeah, I just I love the idea that he doesn't he doesn't want to teach someone how to be a good bounty hunter, but they save his life, and so he's like, Ugh. you know, like trying he feels to... compelled to do it. Yeah, and and you know he's not going to help him at first, but then they keep making easy mistakes to fix, and he's just like, that's not yeah. how you fucking do this. Do that. Use your gun he could be or... frustrated. He could be frustrated seeing them make these obvious mistakes. Yeah, well, he turns um... into it's it's a it's a transition. How does Boba slowly but surely realize he is older than Django ever was, and yes. he is. Yes. He is a, he is assuming kind of a role, a fatherly role that he didn't expect that he ever would have to. And this younger trainee is reminding him of how he is becoming aged and he can't do this forever. No, it's got to have an effect maybe, on a person reaching an age that their parent never got to, in this, in, especially yeah. in that line of work. Well, and maybe I remember my father kind of, maybe doing my the same kind of work that, that killed him. My dad is older like, than uh, his dad ever perfect. got, and he specifically said that once when we were hanging out and whatnot he's like you know i i'm older than my dad ever was and that was like all he just sort of said but it was clearly on his mind worthy of mentioning to me and that's yeah that's an interesting concept mm -hmm. 
Mm. And maybe you can do something, you know, with more of that parental stuff as well. Maybe the kid that he's uh, helping out, you know, he 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 had a convention, you know, mom and dad, which B- Boba never had. Um, yeah, because yeah, the, the kid is completely uh, green, like has no idea what yeah. bounty hunting involves. And then maybe there is something that happens where his family gets brought into it and, and Boba is, you know, it's just like, well, you know, he, he was never in a position to save his dad. Maybe he can make sure that this kid is in a position to be able to protect his family yeah, should the situation arise. It's a lost um, concept that we could have never worked in Mandalorian. Because uh, as much as people might want to say it's about someone having like a f- taking on a fatherly role or a parental role, there's only so much you could do when the thing you're parenting yeah. is is a dumb infant that can't speak or really communicate with you and it can't really learn from you or do anything. And it's just sort of just this thing you carry around. A potential story where you can communicate with something that's old enough well, for it. That's or- the reason why why the the format like the god of war format old man and young kid go on adventure is such a potent um formula because it's just a lot of things working at once somebody who has a bunch of experience somebody who's about to enter into the world and become you know the to become an agent in the world i don't know if it was season one or two of better call soul but um there's a there's a guy who's setting up a job and he, he get three mercenaries uh sign up to do it one of them is mike one of them is like this huge guy how about you give me and man mountain 750 each and send uncle fester there home he's not carrying a gun he's useless the second one is um the guy who plays uh, one of the three main characters in gta 5 the guy who plays trevor we are women here are pain we are women here are shout we are women we have no doubt we are women we are free we are shut women. the are fuck free. up thank you oh my n-word huh? so that guy he's there Stephen Og. that's his that's name. His, yeah and he has like a bunch of guns and then mike is just this like fucking 90 year old with no guns and just sort of hunched over and i think before the the guy shows up to like take them on the mission he wants all three of them he's like oh what what are you carrying i because i got this 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 and then two like backup guns here mike's just like um a sandwich <laughs> What? I think he says, like, no fucking way I'm going on this, like, mission with Gramps here, like, when we get paid the same when I'm actually, like, I matter and he doesn't. And then, um, I think Mike says, like, you know, fucking try to kill me. You got it. Oh. What the... Son of a... Oh. 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 And, uh, he ends up, like, fucking taking his guns and making him, uh, unable to breathe just by being more experienced. Wow. And that's impressive. So many guns, I don't know which one to use. And that's the kind of shit I'd love to see. You know, the the, the, the young buck being all like, Boba Fett, I know what to do, it's this. And he's just like, no, you're a fucking idiot. For example, Boba Fett would never fall for someone being like, I'm gonna go check the back. I'll be yeah. right back, <laughs> Mr. Fett. And it's like, okay, yeah. he'd be like, no, you won't. <laughs> like, I've never, yeah, because I've never been a bounty hunter on paper. I've never done that sort of thing. For tax purposes, I've, ne- I've never done this sort of work. And I know that you don't just let someone leave like that. You just don't do that. I shouldn't be more competent at this on the spot than a character who is this thing that writers have all this time to prepare that way. Did he just lock the door? Did he just lock the door? Yeah, he doesn't Once want you to follow him. That's the what the fucking yeah. button. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the button tapping. <laughs> Let me that, that, that's a perfect example as well of something that Boba just didn't need to say out loud and saying it out loud detracts from his character, right? It'd yeah, of course improved. he locked the door. Shut up. It would be if improved if he just silent. went, ugh. Because, like, we can tell then. That he's already figured yeah. it out. He was just he's hoping annoyed. he would. He's annoyed. Yeah. It's not like, even like know, a problem, like, we're it just stupid. annoys him. We know what happened, like, I mean, I guess the show is assuming that we're stupid, I mean, because, like, it made Boba so bit. stupid, it's like, if we're not yeah. that stupid, then we have to be dumb as Boba in that scene to not be frustrated by how dumb he's being. Imagine if in the show, the guy who went into the door, locked it, and Boba Fett instantly almost, like, rolls his eyes, or in whatever way you could convey that, um... And he just goes around the to the back of the building where the garage door is, and he's just waiting for the guy to pull yeah. out with a speeder. Like he's already he already he's he's done this before. He's seen this routine in the song and dance. And he knows the he building. knows what's happening. Like yeah, and he knows, knows the building. The exits. You want to try that again? No, he needs a speeder crew. The uh, or he just says, "Where are you going?" You know. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, welcome. Do comment showcase. Hooray! All right. Oh, I love comment showcase. Are they good or are they bad? My favorite part of the thing. Um, My favorite part's when it ends. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Just Man. leave then. Sure, I'm glad they made the Rancor super emotionally complex with mental issues. I'm so glad they're not dangerous and less provoked. If you ask me, the blue Twi'lek dancer was asking for it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She was green, moron. <laughs> Yeah, she's green. I'm sorry. Jay is correct. Oh, good job, Jay. Thank you. I, I, I do my best. Because I couldn't remember what color she was because she's brown now. You don't see the world through that lens, Rex. That's right. I don't. The rancor is super emotionally complex it's because nothing is allowed to be evil anymore. Everything has to be. Yep. Yeah. That's hey, you can be emotionally complex fine. and evil. Just like they are not they prepared like, no, for that. Also, it's not evil. Yeah, they're not prepared for that. The Grand Corps, mm -hmm. no, no, Grand Corps are great. They're awesome. You could ride on them and everything, and they'll love you. They're like big dogs, and they're just wonderful and great. The moment that the trainer in the Return of the Jedi, he's like really sad that the Grand Corps is dead. There's something about that that almost works because it's just this feral, ravenous beast, and yeah. only the Beast Master has this kind of connection to it. And it wasn't evil before. It was a hungry creature. Like it's an animal that feeds on stuff. And it was being kept in a dungeon where its only food was the prisoners it was being sent. It wasn't like it was fucking evil. True. It, this would be as weird as doing this with any, like, ravenous creature you find in the wild. Oh, yeah. It's just like, it's a depressed... The Sarlacc man. pit. He's, he's pretty chill. Yeah. Like, really? Okay. The Sarlacc is just an emotionally complex hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> And it just needs to be loved and cared for, and then it'll be wonderful, and it's great, and you could ride the Sarlacc to wherever you need to go, because, yeah, there's just nothing can be... <sighs> Finnick throwing her knife into the Wookiee's hand, I don't care enough to look up his name, means he now has more weapons than he can. <laughs> 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 Maybe he can use oh it to God. cut someone's throat while they're sleeping. I don't know. Yeah, he can he can use the knife to open up the panel on the door and then just open it. I like how the mayor's aide dude is threatened by Fennec showing that she has a pistol and doesn't bat an eye at the big ass rifle she's carrying or the many weapons Boba is carrying. It is kind of funny that she's like, I do have a pistol. It's like, you have all of the stuff, but yes. You have many, 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 yeah. He has knee rockets and <laughs> scrotum cannons and elbow <laughs> tasers. On the next episode of Dances with Sand People, the Teletubbies arrive to impose attacks on trade routes, particularly mm -hmm. those trading in Tubby Custard. We will never learn their motivation for this, but it will lead to a cool climax where Booby Feet has to fight Dick Dastardly in an episode of Wacky Tatooine Races. That was I'm a game for uh, that was a game for GameCube, right? Wacky Tatooine Races. It was a Nickelodeon uh, oh, yeah, spin-off show. Of course. I love Booby Feet. He had like uh it was a bit unbalanced. <laughs> Booby Feet had the best weapons. His icon was the blue footed booby. Mm-hmm. Cut to a Booby picture feet. of the blue footed booby here. I remember that back when Disney's acquisition of Star Wars was announced, Robochick made a sketch where a character bemoaned that the whole franchise would be simplified, defanged, and overall bastardized. I hate how right it was. In episode 4, there were like burned corpses and stuff, and arms are severed. Oh, yeah, yeah. And here you just have death is implied. And also, everyone gets zapped by electric. Ooh. Yeah, that tickles. Ow! Boba is literally the worst crime lord to ever crime lord. He's let <laughs> multiple assassination attempts on his life go unpunished. Gets constantly disrespected by everyone. Even offers them some of them a job, and punishes his own vassals who give him tribute, at turning them against him. There is no way this man should be alive by the end of the season. He will yeah, be a accurate. <laughs> yeah. What, Imagine they kill him in, in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been the Wookiee that killed him, and that's probably how everything should have gone. And we would we would have been like, well, the story's not very interesting, but it made sense that he died there, like because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, we would be in we were, well, it would be a character assassination of Boba, but it would be inconsistent with what we know about Boba. Yeah, if it were only this show, uh, I guess. Yeah, I am beyond speechless. How do they manage to <gasps> mutate Star Wars into this? A franchise with near unlimited potential. A franchise with behemoth space cruisers, lightning fast starfighters, malicious force wielding villains, triumphant heroes, ancient legends, countless species and cultures, infinite stars, and such rich and fascinating history turned into <laughs> Jack Hammer leg goes stub stub. <laughs> <laughs> stub stub. <laughs> if it wasn't for a loving family, EFAP, and those few diamonds of the rough, I would never have had to suffer through this current butchering of beloved franchises. So, it's safe to say that uh, our audience is not liking Book of Boba Fett. Um, they are very wise. <laughs> they are. <laughs> very much so. But hey, episode four could turn it around, right? No. Could. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's, it, you know, it, it, someone will be great. They were just saving it up. Um, just been 
edging. You just been edging? No, that's not what I said. Not what he said. Oh, that's not what I said. No. I'm collecting on behalf of the Tuscans of the Dune Sea. So All of the Tuscans of the Dune Sea. <laughs> He represents does this world. tribe not have a name? That was another way there... to criticize his whole we are one party thing. It's like, this Tusk is fucking everywhere, bro. And I don't even know if they fucking hate each other. Who knows? It was so sad. Oh yeah, They, they really so fucked sad. that up when they enslaved him. That really fucked it up. There is no work, mighty Daimyo. Mm. You better fight as good as you talk. I like how he didn't, like, even question that there wasn't any work. He's like, oh, okay, well. This reminds me of Batwoman, and it's like, you'll work for me. It's like, where are you getting your oh, money from? It's like, don't show him it, shooting I the guess. fucking amazing art. By, by cutting all, out all of the stupid stuff of these scenes, it makes so much of them look like they could have been okay. I don't know, dude. There's still plenty of stupid <laughs> this left. This is still really dumb. <laughs> look at this. But... I'm guessing Wookiee Man is not done. Though it would make no fucking sense to have brought him in just for that. If I was those two so big slugs, I would want just, like, machines to carry me around. And I would want it to be closed off with maybe, a like, an awning of some sort to oh, keep the sun off yeah. me. Uh, it's kind of unreal, the amount of, like, how far they went to go visit him. They would have cooked. They would have popped. In popped. person, yeah. They're you know how slugs love tasty. the desert? <laughs> it's so stupid. Do you stupid. think that, um, you know how there are snails and there are slugs? Do you oh, think no. there's like a kind of hut that has a shell? Oh, oh my no. god, really? We're not even well, we're not even humoring the idea of not flashbacking? We're just flashbacking? Well, to be fair, Boba Fett did seem a real uh, like a really shellfish person. <laughs> nah. Rags, how do you make jokes? We're about to get flashback immediately. Because uh, I gotta enjoy myself the before I suffer. Tuskens are dead and you're laughing? <laughs> yeah, I am. Fuck yeah, yeah we, we are. are. Uh, uh, it's exciting times. I bet that horn's awesome. worth a lot of money, like as a trophy and stuff, as some kind of a cool Maybe thing. Maybe bantha you horns are like not that great, because they're like the same material as bantha nails or something. Ivory. Maybe, but like the shape of them, and they, they probably like make cool decoration. Why was this? Wait, where's this? Destination? This is Jabba's palace, isn't is it? it? Yeah, it is. It looks yeah. like Jabba's palace. Look how many people they had there. Three. Four. Oh. Five. Five. Oh, six. 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 And they have guns. <laughs> what? This cannot stand. This is weird. This yeah. is unacceptable. Why are you coming so, here? So, yeah, I was about to say, so the That's idea here is he, he lost his know. Tuscans, and so now he's like, well, time to take over Jabba's palace. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Why don't you just oh, go today, back and be like, hey, isn't he still in like their good books? Isn't he still an ally of theirs? I would have thought so. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah. I guess if he's trying to take over the place, I guess they would burning? be hostile, but why? Face well, chicken. But he's made no hostile action to them yet. Why does everyone eat with gloves? Why are you eating with gloves? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this world. I don't oh, understand this world. Oh, he's gonna feed the panther. He's oh. nice. No. Nice guy Boba feed him. Go on. Is the panther eat meat? Do they eat meat? I don't fucking know. I mean, there's no. I don't even know what they mean. Here. So that 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 it's always supposed to believe. I guess that, that is a predator creature. It, I guess it hunts. What the fuck yeah, does it eat? It, yeah. It hunts with its lightning <laughs> quick speed. It hunts. <laughs> That's a very generous, Jay. <laughs> they chase down smaller creatures in the a wild. A star! Oh, a star! No. It's Christmas! Oh, do you guys know Jesus what that is? Jesus has been born! Jesus is no. born! Jeez. He's been born again! What's the birth of Jesus? the birth of Christ, Christ Waller. Metal, do you not know what that is? Oh, wait, no, no. Uh, hold up. When was there flares in Tatooine? I don't remember. Oh! oh it's the celebration. Uh, yes. Oh, right off. Oh. He just happened to be in the fucking area. Sure. Nice. That's great. Hey, I'm Boba oh, Fett. <laughs> Do you happen and, to need a mechanical stomach? And they well, didn't bring back the body because that's stupid. I swear to God, if he crafts it on the spot, I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, is she gonna kick his ass? She's out, right? We don't know that. They, she could be. She could be wounded and still kick his Pimple's ass. Whole stomach was glomped. That doesn't mean anything in this topsy turvy <laughs> world where people eat chicken with their gloves on. <laughs> Oh my god, Vinic shit. Thank you. So we have already spent like five and a half minutes of just nothing, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Do you want to check well, the yeah, pulse or something? No? Once you have them talk about how they're going to take over the world together or whatever, that's it, right? We're done with flashbacks? I, I hope so. Be. You've literally told us everything. She's dead, she bro. She's absolutely <laughs> dead. <laughs> so long. I'm going no, to take why this didn't... corpse back to my camp. I wouldn't be surprised if he checked her pulse while his gloves were still on. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> I can't feel anything. They must be right. dead. It would have come through strong. <laughs> oh, no. no. What are those things on your head supposed to do? They give her 
our... That looks like it's distracting to have that bright oh, orange light in front it of does. your eyeball at night. Nice bike, nerd. No school like uh, the old dude, if school. Dude, it really don't fit in the vibe with Tatooine. No, it doesn't. Um, if he sets her on a table, uh, he's like, fix her. And they're just like, this is a cult, hey, bro. Ah, uh, she's, she's, I found a mortally wounded woman. No. I will take her to a bar. I, I mean, it if it's the only place around, I guess. Well, no, no, it's... this, this is actually, I'm going to give him some points. This is, he's going to get a stomach a... mod for it. But like, the problem oh, is, right. this is well after it's... she be dead. Place. This is ridiculous. Why does he want to save her? I don't know. Also, this is just cyberpunk. This is just cyberpunk 2077, right? It wants like, to be for sure. Like these styles are just these don't fit. Aren't you a little old to be here? Aren't you a little what? old to be here? What do you mean? Why? What if Why I just you... need an eye or something? No walk-ins. Appointment only. Have, have you explained that she needs it to survive I was and you'll say, pay surely him? money will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Why why do you bother? Yeah, why do you care? Well, you you're just trying to corpse, and you're like, oh no, I hate death as a bounty hunter. That upsets me. Would he go this far for a Tuscan? He didn't seem to give a shit. Also, a, a cut to the stomach, and you can just have any person. What is that on your hand? That is your hand. Oh, bro, that that's is so like, cool, bro. Just having a hand. Hand. Luke Skywalker had a hand that was a hand, and it was a robot hand. Also, I don't want my little saw right next to my thing that grabs stuff. That seems like a bad idea. Also, a mechanical well, stomach. That tool looks just... really unwieldy. Wouldn't it just be easier to hold those tools? Yeah, that's what I was saying with the mechanical hand thing, you know? He's wearing like, nail don't you polish. Have to... This is just cyberpunk stuff. But you have to be yeah. a doctor, right? You can't just... You have to be, like, a, a doctor. You have he... to understand, like, he does. organs. He does. And... Look at him go. Oh, okay. Wow, Rags doesn't believe there can be black why doctors. The, why, does the, why does the part where her body is cut looks like metal? I guess because he had to put a rim on the outside of it. He had to give her a rim job. Uh, oh. You know what this is? They were they wiped her out in that episode and then they were like, wait, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. People love hmm. this character, so we have to bring her back. No one's ever really gone. Oh my god, it's I feel like I ate two dozen pipes. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Maybe he'll explain does, himself. I don't know. Can, can she eat now? Like, can she still eat yep. and shit? It's fine. Yep. Well, it yeah, you don't need like a doctor to turn wait, these biomechanical things into well, no, Rex, I assume I assume that he was medically qualified like he's got to be why why would we assume that he wasn't I saved your life why though yeah, when he opens though? that by pushing in doesn't it leave little bits inside think, of it that you you'd think what did you do to me I brought you to a mod parlor on the outskirts of Mos Eisley the best I could do under the circumstances pretty incredible <laughs> yeah, yeah it's pretty insane that you're alive take the black melon the what the black, the black melon, melon. that's what they're called. Yeah. The yeah. Black melon? Oh, it's edgy melons. <laughs> wow. The only, the only melon. melon that Boba Fett would eat is a black You'd melon. You'd think she would need many days to heal, it some but it's fine. To. It takes some getting great. used to. Really? You think, you think so? You drink something and having time, a metal wait, pipes and shit. He said with time you start to crave it. Are they addictive? <laughs> of the like crap. Is that what that means? You are Master Assassin Fennec Shand. I take it I'm worth more alive, huh? I'll pay double my bounty. I don't want money. Why no, not? Why do you want what? money? He's a different man. Even though money just saved it, but it's fine. I am Boba Fett. Don't. Yeah, she should know that name. Yep. Boba is dead. No, oh, let me I explain was. to you. And they have a flashback, and it's just what? everything that we've seen before. <laughs> That's the Simpsons line! Boba is dead. I was. Father McGrath, I thought you were dead. I was. I was rescued by the Sand People. Well, that's not <laughs> that's really. No, that's not. <laughs> that's not. That's <laughs> not what happened. No, rescued <laughs> by the Sand People. Why is the Why is the show disagreeing with itself? <laughs> you have <laughs> Stockholm syndrome, my they friend. They enslaved yeah. you and beat you. Speed bikers defeated Tuscans. That's highly unlikely. No, it, it seems to be is extremely it? likely. That unlikely? No Why? It, it, it seems like if you just had a gun and a speeder, you could kill all of them. Yep. The Tuscans yeah. don't even know how to use a speeder. <laughs> yeah, and they clearly just love to get mowed down. They're like just a tier above Jawas. Help me recover my fire spray gunship. If the ship is yours, why don't you just ask for it back? Of course, I might not like the answer. Oh. No? Without my you might as well try, right? Racer. Without your armor, you're less persuasive. Yeah, what? what? No, you're fucking... Boba Fett. Be yeah. a badass without it. You have it. contracts with oh. them. He needs. He wants his ship back, and he's not willing to do it non-hostily because he believes they might say no. 
But I'm so sick of this desert, dude. What a dude. stupid fucking reason to have an episode. This is the episode where he gets his shit back, by the way, if nobody else fucking noticed. That's I what think I'm gathering that might uh, be what we're doing. Where did you get her weapon from? I don't know. I guess she has it I now. I guess they left like her with it, yeah. Right? Oh. Even though that would this be a is one of my complaints before. Weapon, but okay. Absolutely, that was one of my complaints about Mandalorian. You're taking that with you. It's very valuable. Let's take a closer look. No. Hmm? It's not a knife, but... Oh. Not a knife. <laughs> now we yeah, know that, that, that rifle you know, is incredibly that weapon is really valuable. valuable. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it has mm -hmm. knives in it. It's incredibly valuable. <laughs> is she controlling this, or is it just... I don't know, I'm waiting to see like a little screen a on her rifle. God, guys, do you remember in Suicide Squad where... Captain Boomerang had a boomerang that had a camera on it and he could see on his phone. Yeah. And then when the boomerang got destroyed, I think they threw the phone away. Because <laughs> 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 that movie's really good. In case don't fall. Uh, I, honestly, I would love to see the Gamorrean guards trying to chase that little thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're free now. Oh, the breath. Oh, ugh. Uh, nasty. Yeah, I agree with Fennec. Now go. Find other Benthus. Make baby Benthus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go. What the fuck? Why is Boba Fett? Boba having Fett, this everybody. You're free to roam the Dune Sea. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was this was you more exciting, and you fed me, but it's okay. he would sell the Bantha, right? Like, what? no, he's Boba Fett. He's so nice. Are they just- are they- hang on, is this how it works? Are they just around and occasionally you pluck one out of the desert to just ride for a while and then put it back when you're done? Are they like mm -hmm. Boris bikes? <laughs> What's next for you? I'm gonna find my armor, and I'm gonna kill that bloated pig who double-crossed me. Who? Double-crossed you? Who? You wanna head a Gatra. Why not? You're a hunter. I'm tired of working for idiots who are gonna get me killed. No, that was you. That's your. Oh yeah, you're the one who. You went to Luke you with a lightsaber. That up. was you. You bitter old man. You can't take the fact that you <laughs> fucked up. My right, instead of my tangle with my my scrape with death reminded me of oh, my own age and no. I fuck it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Dude, what a valuable little thing. Jesus yeah. Christ, this is insane. Where are all these people when... Okay. Oh boy, we get an action scene, there are huh? too many guards. No, there aren't. Then we time their Half patrol. Of, most of them seem to have melee weapons. Also, it's, it's you two. I mean, you can't be killed, so you'll be fine. And and again, most of them are Gamorrean guards with little sharp sticks. So Why don't you... You're like, you're an ally of these people. Why don't you go in as if you're going to be friendly and then double-cross them? Like... Well, that's a better option, but I still I think option A is the best one where he just goes. Rats! Hey, rats! We I are the rats! My, I want my shit back. You got to do it to the bottom too. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, no, um, no. oh, okay. okay. What about the bottom? It's still a no. steel bar. Oh, I know that sound effect. Like it's, it's from a different Star Wars movie. I'm gonna figure oh, okay. that out at some point. Can we highlight how they, fucking they incredibly useful Fennec is Get back to him? soup frog. I got to boil you slowly. Like the stories. Like, ma'am, could Boba have found any singular person that's more useful? Then Fennec? No, probably not. Why would you want robots cooking food? Don't you want someone who can taste it to cook your food? No. Well, I mean, if the robot is programmed and understands the recipe, the he doesn't need to taste it, he'll know how well, to make it. Well, one of- well, that's what Gordon Ramsay always says, is you should taste well, the you food to make sure. Food. Yeah. I am literally just a chef, do not kill me. All right, just no, shoot it's it. It's gonna be a fucking. It's gonna do. It's General Grievous. <laughs> it is legit General doing Grievous. that. Just shoot it with your gun. No, that's silly. <laughs> okay. Why? Right, slit it to right. robot. Slit throat. it to throat. <laughs> that. No, the salad. This just start making food. Pretend you belong here. <laughs> oh, another little robot. What is this? Oh, that's a droid. What the fuck is that one supposed to do? Is that the alarm robot? How did wow. you miss? What are we, what are we doing? Cute, what, so is what, this? Gonna kill what are we doing? It. Use your cool. use your gun. Yeah, at this you point, isn't that alarm enough by now? <clears throat> Why are we watching Boba Fett try and catch a little? Oh, hey, the frogs got away. What are we? Uh, mm. What is this cartoon shit? Where did you come from? Gotcha. You won't have the balls to kill it, will he? I am. Yeah, because they made it cute, so they're not gonna kill it. Yeah. I am Boba Fett. 
Shut up. Okay. We all know you're Boba Fett, mate. Oh, wow. Oh, that so excited. off. Turned itself off. Okay. Press the button again. I guess can he assumes someone else will turn it on later. Or maybe there's an internal well, switch like, that it can... Because it's still, like, a, it there's still no... exists. Like, it's storing data. Exactly. There's no, there's no reason to not destroy that thing, really. It's, oh, it's, it's so cute. bad. This is the worst possible way that assaulting Jabba's palace could be. But it was fun. Look, it's Slave 1! It's the starship Slave 1! No, I don't think that's what it's called, Rags. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Rags, they wouldn't want to associate Star Wars with slavery. <laughs> that's true, they would never want to make that happen. <laughs> we wouldn't want that. Oh no, more things without guns. Right, you go to the left of Slave 1. It's not called Slave 1, it's Fire Spray. <laughs> I like that just, just if don't. you're at range and you have a gun, they can't do shit. Why are oh, you not yeah, using your advantage? What are what? you doing? What? Why? What? You, what? Why are you punching how are you, them? How are you <laughs> punching a Gamorrean guard out, what? you scrawny little woman? You have guns. Use the guns. You're risking less Oh, they're sound. here. Oh, oh, here we go. They Finally. showed up and started shooting. I can't wait for them both to be killed. Very easily. Hey, at least you're utilizing cover. To be fair, this is where she should dominate. Why are you leaving cover entirely to shoot? I mean, this is where you're supposed to try and write something that impresses Get the ship us. And leave. About you're not even using leave. your sights. You're just pointing. I guess it was unlocked. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, what? Just you leave that has now. In it. How do they get out of the gate? Isn't the gate closed? Oh, I guess they all forgot she was there. Oh, wow. that explodes when you shoot it? Wow, what was in the... there that explodes? I'm surprised they had the balls to kill a gong we need droid. To, we, yeah. need to, we need to move our exploding robot into the middle of this battle. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of them to be like, Boba, you could have just fucking asked. Oh, God, give that guy a raise. Fight? Is he going to weigh it down? Why were you not faster? <sighs> All right, so that's taken care of. Okay. Yep. The Morians have, like... Ow, no, oh, no, wow. that will fuck your spaceship up. That's bad. No, no, that's like stone. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, no, Boba Fett. What are you doing? I guess Slave 1 is made of Beskar. <laughs> uh, it probably is at this point. Well, yeah, you're driving into a okay. wall, I think. <laughs> like, that's more so the problem. What are you oh, doing with you your arms? Cool fighter stance? What are you doing with your arms? She had stomach surgery hours ago. No, not my rifle. Gonna yeah, that's right. Cane. You better. You want to take that. Yeah. Wow! Holy fuck! Mm-hmm. Very good shot. Hey, she's Fennec. <laughs> what was that shot? Uh, she's How cool. Yeah, I did that. What is it that she even shot? A weight that stops the door from. I don't. Fuck off. How is that weight anything close to the weight of that door? I don't know. It's made of best <laughs> What the fuck's the rest of the episode about? I don't care. Well, remember the 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 the, the, the fish guys? They come in a Tatooine to take oh, yeah, over I guess the pike. We'll get future times. Oh, I'm so bored. Guys, you know, they grew up surrounded by water. Shouldn't you double check to make sure that it's space worthy? Like seriously, no. it's been a long. It's been a while. And you, you should really check. Into a wall. Yeah, you could have structural integrity issues. Where would you like to be dropped? I'll go for the ride. Don't you have things to do? No, uh, apparently not. Um, all right. I well. hope they give us more than that before the season ends. She, the she couldn't even say something like, flashbacks. well, I've, I've got some business on Axios Prime 8 or whatever. And she's like, oh, well, I've got something there, too. I'll hang with you until we get there or something. Something. Wait, where, oh, what's is happening he just going to go ahead oh. and shoot the fuck out of the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there okay. he is. Yeah, that's okay. That's what we're doing. Oh, wow. It's just funny that he's decided they're evil and worthy of erasure compared to anyone else. <laughs> what? How do you know these are the ones? How do you even know? <laughs> Whatever. That seems like a waste. Imagine that was if a waste. Uh, one, of these, one of these guys as he was dying was like, those Tuskins, they, they kidnapped my brother. They, they probably him, did they kidnap his brother. They probably did. And you yeah, killed me. That's probably She's on it. She doesn't even know the context. <laughs> oh, I, you, you I, I, that's the revenge guys. I guess he told her. Are you gonna kill there. the Salak? <laughs> it's not Drop a the Salak. Oh, no. Surely. Oh, he might actually. He might actually. Is, he gonna is he really the gonna shoot the Salak? Yes. He is. He is. You shouldn't have eaten me. <laughs> this is a scene that's happening. This is what an actual scene doing? that's occurring. You're taking revenge on what is essentially just this creature that exists to eat. Really? The Salak pit. That's where I was trapped all those years ago. Years ago? Oh, years ago? Where I was trapped years ago? Were you with the Tuscans for years? He said his armor is in there, Apparently so. No, he's looking for his armor. 
I would. Why would his armor be in there? It's not. It's not. You crawled out with it. He Don't knows the jar was took it. Armor on. Do you not he have clear recollection of this event? He literally knows the jar was took it. This scene is happening. Yeah. We're watching. What are we this. doing? We're watching. I, this. I really needed a, a starlight POV shot. Oh great! Now I'm blocking out all the lights, so I can't see shit. He can generate one, right? He can like turn on a light. What yeah. are we doing? I can't see a thing. No, no, <laughs> no shit! You're blocking off the light, you fool! <laughs> Why do you think your armor's in here? You know the jar was took why it. Why is it crawled is it out so with open? it? Why, why is it like a gaping hole? I thought it had a mouth. A also, mouth. I thought it had a, a beak. Mouth that was yeah. yeah. In the extended editions, it does it does have a beak that comes out. Yeah. It's gonna it be was never this. It was never beak. just a wide gaping anus. Yeah, the jump scare is gonna be the beak. Yeah. <clears> if <throat> they've decided the beak is canon, they might not have. Oh. Yeah. There, there we go. Yeah. Well, the beak is canon. It made the noise. Oh, come the <laughs> fuck on. Oh, it's it is spaceship. not more powerful sorry? than a starship. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, your that ship thing is, is just strong. simply not powerful enough. Okay, this starship. You know, it's stronger than the, the, the rocks travel. that Jabba's palace is built out of, but not <laughs> uh, not a little tentacle. How do you know what that button does? Yo, I guess he told her in between scenes. This is ridiculous. This is the Sarlacc pit button. If we're ever eaten by a Sarlacc, I want you to press the black button. Love that the problem is that she can't reach the button. When you're building what this button, I need to put Why it Why would you have so a button that is not accessible? Oh, no. it's a seismic charge. No. Dude, uh, dude, that was that the most insane. dangerous oh. fucking they thing. The wow. Fucking, they played the fucking Death Star blowing up music. Good thing it was oriented that way. Good Jesus. God, Boba Fett is cringe. Oh <laughs> my God. I can't believe- look at the way the, sh the ship is facing. No way lo losing a seismic charge was a good idea. That could have killed them. Yeah. I know! I, it's it a good- like I said, it's a really good thing that thing was oriented horizontally. Huh. <sighs> and but like, just it, to be clear, it, the Sarlacc it, pit is stronger than the, the, the Slave One's thrusters. Yes. That's insane. Which is pretty unreal. I just can't believe that it, it booped out, rolled off the ship, rolled under the thing, into the Sarlacc's mouth. Like, yeah. really? How fucking lucky. And he went inside to look. Why? You know the jaw was having. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Just to be clear yeah. as well. Now it's canon that the um. Now that it, now it's canon that you can't reach the seismic charge button from the pilot seat. Why yeah. would you design a ship that way? Yep, I don't true. know why you would have the seismic charge button. But we saw it in the in the in the. What are you pouring on him? Well, I think he, was, he grew up surrounded by water. <laughs> you should have taken like your robe and stuff off before this, you got this it all gunk. Sucks. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. How? Why is it this bad? How many times have you been hired to do a job that was avoidable? If they only took the time to think. How many lives could have been saved? Why do you care about that? Oh my god, new boba sucks. I'm tired of our kind dying because of the idiocy of others. It's no, not, that was that you. was you. You to the one who picked the main Cut your gun in half. Jabba so didn't tell you to kill yourself. If I'm gonna start a house, I need brains and muscle. <laughs> well, you're out of neither. Luck. <laughs> yeah. You have both. No, she has neither. Oh Standing. my god. Living with the Tuscans has made you soft. Oh my god, she's so right. Stupid Shouldn't and weird. have. No. Maybe strong. It's made me strong. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> you can only get so far without a tribe. Oh, uh, shut up. No, it's not uh. true! You're living proof that's not true! <laughs> if... Uh. Oh. Is that them saying we're done? We've caught up. Maybe. God. I guess they got the rest of the palace because, Yeah, because he got the armor in Mandalorian, so we're done now. And you know, she agreed to be with him because he said, I'll, I'll look after you. Which is something that you get from your fucking employer anyway. Especially if your employer wants you to actually succeed. There you go, he's fully healed, we're good. He's right by an open window, someone could just... Yep. Like, hop in and take all of his stuff. This is not where you want to be. You are completely healed. No, there's uh -huh. clearly a scar oh. in between it and his forehead right there. The scar is on the inside. Oh. No, but this. Okay. All right. There's clearly a scar on your forehead, a, he's but. He's wearing a different kind of panties today. Nice. Oh! oh that's the kind of luxury you get as a crime lord. Still, Many panties. No hey, Max hey, Rebo! Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's on our head? I like how he's got a little visor there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Great. Uh, he's oh, there he is. So what's, he's what's... like, man, I am shit at my job. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that would- no, you would've just spilled that all over your face. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, there was no there was liquid in there. in there. Why is he so angry? Sad at these Trandoshans who are having fun. He's like, I hate fun. I hate fun. <laughs> oh, that one, had, that one had CGI water in it. Is that not CGI a- CGI water is my favorite bad? kind of water. Dude, careful spilling water everywhere while wearing your stupid electric knuckles. <laughs> yeah. They're happy. They're having a good time. What are oh, you doing? Are oh, you drunk? Right. There must be beef rags. There must be so much beef between him and this Trandoshan. Why are you upset? Not the um, ficus! Ow! These poor people! Security! Well, Security! Isn't this Boba Fett's place? Like he owns this yeah, or whatever? This doesn't happen, yeah. right? This is the end of business. Do something, Security please? With guns. He's assaulting Fett, the patrons! Shoot him. Shoot him. Does the casino does this casino not have like guards? I wanna help my friends. You're beating them up. This guy's a hero. He's like, oh, I gotta help my friends. I think you've made your point. What point? Oh, oh, I need to stop the, the woman reaction. is talking. <laughs> Why are you what? saying that? I think he's angry at them because he was a slave or whatever. You were a legend. Exposition. Sent and drew crowds yeah. by the thousands. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now your knuckle dusters are more feared than blasters. Bullshit. No, they're not. No, they're not. Challenge? Fuck off. No way. God, you're wow, just you're both of us just listening to all this. Like, what a fun this time. is so cringe. Well, this is. I like the eyelids, how there's like two levels of eyelids. Yeah, those, those are cool eyelids. That's I'm neat. glad that I like, you appreciate them. I just feel sorry for these these guys who are having a great time with their friends. I will wipe your debt off the books. He, oh, he's man. he's assaulting everybody. I'm I assume sorry. you're lying. I'm sorry. Do you get the reward? That's the reward that you get for assaulting all the people. Beat everyone up. I'm gonna <laughs> make it. Sad. All of these people in he's the bar are thinking, "Oh, if I beat a lot of people up, I can get my bar tab removed too." Oh. Oh my God! What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Well, so he's going what? to jail, no, right? No, you can't do that. Is he not going to jail? Is yeah. he allowed to do that? These poor Trandoshans. They were having such a good time, and then this guy just what Arms the fuck? What, and he just leaves? Why did you come what, here, what Boba? Wait, what, what did what, you- what? what? Alright, Max, just get back to work. What are we doing? What the fuck was that? Looks like you could use a job. Oh, oh man, of course. Course. There we go. Just, just like, like everyone the way else. The work with Boba Fett is to do something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> deal for people rip off their yeah. arms. Hey, you want a job? Boba Fett oh, the band of chuckle fucks. <laughs> his reign ended in a ball of fire on the Dune Sea, and then Juna The ball of fire apparently did not get Bib Fortuna. You were all once <laughs> captains under Oh, it's been funny. This should have been an episode What do you mean, right one. to the throne? What does oh, that even mean, right to the yeah. throne? He just shot him and said, I'm taking over. But were thwarted by his guile and treachery. Hey, helm on. Mm -mm. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. The Pike Syndicate are mustering troops in Mos Espa and are draining Tatooine of its wealth. Why do you deserve to be the Daimyo? Yeah, it's a good question. What prevents us all from killing you? <laughs> nothing really. What we want? Yeah, nothing really. <laughs> Oh, uh, that okay. seems dangerous. A rancor? How big is that rancor by now? Dude, he's Easy. fucking giving a job to the stupid little droid, too. <laughs> that That's rancor is like not a... that big. Yeah. That yeah. rancor cannot reach up there. They're not on the trapdoor anymore, so Please. what now? Sit. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be sitting anywhere no. fucking near that. Are you kidding me? I'll stand. Thanks. I guess the, the, the point the, is the, that Boba Fett's on it, so it's okay if they're on it. Fuck if, that. Boba Fett owns the creature. I know, I, I'm trying to make, make sense of it. Have this is a world where people eat chicken with gloves on. I try to make sense of this world. <laughs> Since when can that fucker translate? I thought that was his point. I thought that's what he was for. No, they said in the first episode they don't have a protocol droid to translate, and now oh. that fucker is translating. Did you catch any of that? Something about friendship? We really need a protocol droid. <laughs> Master Garfollow asks what it is that you are proposing. Yes. I love and that, I yes. Will I will vanquish these interlopers who threaten our planet. All I ask in return is that you remain neutral. You you have not made any offer to them. You, you have, haven't. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. He's not offer on the trap door, by the way. He's not on the trap door. Oh. You, okay. you haven't offered them anything. Slide? Why did they agree to like, come? Like, that guy makes a really good yeah. point. I don't know. Why did they agree acceptable. to sit on the rancor shop? Why is it acceptable? Why is it acceptable? Mm -hmm. I the assume they're lying? I abide. Why? Oh, okay. Why? Maybe why? Yeah, like, Maybe actually, why? Maybe they're all lying. I, they, well, how do the creatures lying? with ball sack mouths drink? Well, <laughs> with their balls. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. 
Sand you really just kill them all if he wanted to. Do you trust them? Well, yeah, they all voluntarily sat I on the Rancor door. To prepare for war. Keep saying that. I have plenty of credits. What I'm short on is muscle. Credits can buy muscle. Aw, oh, $20. I wanted a peanut. $20 can buy many peanuts. Explain how. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Woohoo! Money can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. that's Mando's music. That's the, that's the noise. Mm -hmm. That's Mando's music. He's gonna oh, show they, up. Oh, they're gonna, so yeah, they're gonna, gonna hire, hire Mando. Mando. Out. Uh, oh, boy! Mm. Oh, shit. So, hang on, just to be clear, I want to get this out of the way. The first question was, what's stopping us from just killing you? It's like, you're sitting on the Rancor door. And the next question is, what's stopping us from moving slightly to the left? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm, uh, okay, I can't do anything about that. I guess he got us. I can't believe how we rushed through his, like, entire relationship with Fennec, but we spent, like, 5,000 episodes with the stupid Tuscans. The Tuscans. Yeah. Oh, it's so lame. She can speak! Concept art's always so much more interesting. It feels like so... Characters say things that have nothing to do with what's going on and don't address the root issue. It's like what we're seeing versus what the characters talk about is entirely dissonant. Don't... What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I do like how Boba just keeps employing people who break the rules and break the law and- And have previously tried to kill him. Things. They're always- they're yeah. always top of the list. Jeez. Going by what we've been shown, I'm pretty sure the, the show is trying to say we're not getting any more flashbacks. I really hope I we're think not. So. That was time that we've spent on the present day story. What is it? Maybe like 50 minutes out of the last four episodes. Like, it feels like less than half of the show. And I'm pretty sure yeah. that it is categorically less than half of the show at this point is present day mm. story. And that's a choice that you can make. I don't Most know of episode why, three though. was present day. You know, we got all that stuff about the bike. Well, yeah, but episode two was the long. I think episode two was like 50. 50 minutes or something and that was that was like like 90 percent uh the tuscans spent a lot of time with the tuscans in episode two and eventually we just don't have anything really to we show have for a it. very short amount of time there's seven episodes which is short oh. for a television show they're not all 50 minutes some of them are really some of, i think the first episode was only like 35 minutes yeah we don't have a lot of time and we've wasted a lot of time on things that we didn't need. And it seems like the, um, yeah, I, I guess the whole point of the Tuscans was just so that Boba could say, I'm merciful now I'm and different. weak yeah, and soft. And... But again, if it, it's really odd. You know how like when you talk about a story that comes along and it kind of forgets what actually happened when it totally recontextualizes events. This is like within the same show. The Tuscans abducted you and tried to make you a slave. They didn't take you in. They only took you in after you provided them with some utility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was with them for years, which it didn't feel that way at all. No, I oh, thought yeah. it was just like a week. <clears throat> it did seem like a week. Except it seemed like... And half of that was time. in slavery. God, then he had his you trip. Even more. He spent years with them. Why? Yeah, years. And he's, he wore the fucking clothes the whole time, apparently, because he's a... He had the same clothes on this whole time. Dinky boy! Din Djarin in the next episode, how exciting. That's really cool. We haven't crawled out of that pit where everything's just sort of, things just sort of happen and there's no logical progression of any event, be it big or small. Chasing droids in a kitchen. Ugh. And just um, like every fight, nothing just seems to make sense. I don't- What even was the point of the Sarlacc scene? Like, what did that contribute to the story other than establishing we that the characters are morons? The up seismic charge with blew the, up. With the Sarlacc pit. Oh, is that, everyone is that all it was for? Yeah. Isn't it yeah. really I, fucking I, cool that yes. he, that he forced so it? it may Seismic charge down the Sarlacc's throw. How fucking cool is that? Made, made all the yeah, characters was, really stupid. Because he was um, looking for the, the armor that he lost in there, even though he, he crawled out looking, with it and was awake when it. they got. Like, did, does, taken what does away. he think happened? Did he think he took his armor off and then left the Sarlacc? Like, what? I was going to say, for some reason, he's forgotten he had the armor on and he's forgotten the jar was uh, knocked him out. Well, yeah. like, what, what happened in his mind? Did he, He's like, okay, Nothing's I'm stuck in the Sarlacc. In Step one, strip off. Step two, escape. <laughs> we thought he was there just to kill the Salak because he's a bitter yeah. old man. <laughs> he sees it all as like, I hated my job as a bounty hunter because I hated working for people who didn't care if I lived or died or, or got me killed. It's like, you know, that's kind of rare. 
they usually tell you what the job is you can accept and then it's your fucking yeah. like it's on you how yeah. you conduct the yeah, job yeah in fact generally your employers especially because you're boba fett they will set you up for success because they want the job finished i know in disney world or whatever star wars is now i guess that just that makes sense so it's not going to happen but if people want, it's like the army of the dead thing. If you want someone to complete a job, you want to tell them relevant information and you yep. want to give them the equipment they need to do it. And you're certainly not going to go out of your way to hide your true intentions, to tell them to do a thing that will get them killed for some reason. You I mean, hire I mean, people because you want them to succeed. And yeah, you don't want them dead. Like, like the idea that he's like, oh, you know, Darth Vader never would have cared about me. It's like, I mean, he wants you alive. You're useful. You can, yeah. Maybe Disney writing Darth Vader, he would have cared. Disney Ryan Darth Vader, he would have been like, oh, but I think I love you. Using and they're back to tank. Oh, yes. Oh, no. In Darth Vader's black dome, they would have <laughs> yeah. filled up from the, yeah, the, it would have filled up and it would have been would like come. Cirque du Soleil in there. Kiss me in the back to tank. That's what the episode's name. Would you? How can you kiss in a back uh, to tank? You got those little mouth things on. Oh, you, you take do... it off for a moment. Yeah. Uh. You stick it in your butt. And it... <laughs> 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 it really is just it's Mind awful. fails me to comprehend what I was what I was watching. <sighs> the Sarlacc is stronger than the engines on this starship. Yeah, well, you know the Star the Sarlacc is pretty strong, right? Clearly, you know, you very. Clearly, strong. don't understand Star Wars lore if you don't know. Wasn't that. it? I'm sorry. Yeah. Wasn't it struggling to pull Lando inside of it? But apparently, it can pull in a starship against its engine thrust power. <laughs> That makes sense, doesn't it? Lando's really strong. He's got big muscles. Oh my goodness. I think the argument from judges from watching it, I think they want to say the button's in range of Boba, but he can't press it because he's just desperately holding onto the thrusters to push them back. But at that point you're just like, wait, why isn't it why isn't the seismic charge drop a button you can reach? From like because your controls, and then because like she's in the I guess co I don't even know it's co-pilot I can't tell yeah I guess co-pilot but the sure. way she reaches for it it looks like it would be out of range for her if she were in the pilot seat anyway or, or else she just tell Boba Fett to do it which he I'm sorry be the like, way what I are said you doing are you crazy the, the, that would cause, never yeah, work because of the angle we're at yeah if it deploys from the back. And what if it rolls onto the engine? What if it yeah. just didn't, like, the way it projects, it, like, it goes boop, there. and then it very luckily slides down, slides, slides, and then drops right into where they need it. It's like, oh, you lucky fuckers. And then it explodes at the right orientation. Oh, yeah. boy. I remember in Rogue Squadron yeah. when you had the seismic charges, whenever you, you shot them out or dropped them, they would always be oriented the same way, so you could align it to where you wanted it to be, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but this is just sort of, it, it's kind of like in Mando when they used it. It just so happens to be at the right orientation and goes off at the exact right time to do the things it needs to do. Whereas you don't even really, you, when it was used in the asteroid field, it doesn't really matter what the orientation was. It's going to blow up rocks and create yeah, asteroid far away. going in all directions. That's so bad. That was yeah. really, really bad. Yeah, jeez. But uh, we got and three left. War. Yeah! yeah, Mando, he's coming. And then Han so Solo's amazing. gonna come too. Everyone's gonna come. No. Ma Mando Solo. Oh my gosh. Boba Fett episode four. Whoa. Absolute travesty. Trash fire. And I bet people love this. I bet people love it. <sighs> okay, bye. What you bring me?